It's 10 o'clock Mountain Time. It's Thursday, February 18th, 2021. And uh, that, of course, means it's time for Tom and Shane uh, once again. And uh, we're happy to be with you. We're here every Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, today's topic, uh, we got to find out how to find your hidden customers, uh, how to find your hidden customers. But uh, obviously, before we do that, we need to remind you of a couple of things, Shane, that, uh, hey, we're on YouTube. YouTube Live, if you're watching us now, or if you're watching the replay, hey, subscribe uh, and uh, like us. Ring the notification bell. You'll never miss another uh, one of our podcasts immediately that uh, we are we are on or coming up. And also like us and leave a comment because Facebook just kind of likes that kind of stuff. <laughs> Also, if you're if you're in business and you're watching this, uh, you want to become a Patreon, a member of the show. You want to sponsor us because there are some amazing perks that only you will get if you support this show monetarily. And Shane and I were just talking before the show that uh, it's uh, this is not inexpensive to put on every day, and we'd like your your support. We'd be happy to, uh, for a $3 a month, $36 a year. I mean, come on, where are you going to get $36 a year to be on a show like this? And uh, we'll uh, post your personal name or your website or your business name, your choice, whatever you want to put up, we'll put up uh, showing you as a supporter. Five bucks, uh, you get a personal um, uh, podcast created by Shane and myself for the topic of your choice. Uh, you also get a um, autographed copy of my book and um if you're a uh, 15 dollars uh, hey you get two books and uh you get a personal um um consult <laughs> consultation <laughs> easy for me to say huh shane <laughs> that's right and also uh with uh, five and and 15 uh we'll welcome you to the show we we can hold a third person uh, in our window and yeah. interview you about your business and you tell everyone how you're doing and we'll do it on a monthly basis so that you can give everyone an update and um you know it'll be a 15 minute infomercial for your for yourself and your business and as our family grows uh, perhaps the success of your company finding new customers will grow too will grow as well absolutely well said well, as I mentioned, we're here every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, we'll take a business topic uh, to help your small home-based or startup business get uh, going and succeed. And also, uh, of course, uh, for more small business tips and tricks, uh, go to our website, TomAndShane.com, TomAndShane.com. Please share that with your friends. There's a lot of tips and things over there that we don't have on here. So uh, there's articles and things about advertising, business management, and all sorts of things over there. So TomAndShane.com, get over and take a look at it. Also, our uh, business political show is on radio Saturday, 8 to 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Click listen now at KMMSAM.com. You don't have to sign up for anything. You don't have to leave any information, no emails, no credit cards, no nothing. You just go over there and listen, and you can call us and text us and whatever. And studies show our shows are better the second time around. So we record them all. <laughs> so you can watch our past shows at camamsam.com. Click on Tom and Shane's podcast and uh, please share that with your friends as well. So welcome, uh, everyone. It's a beautiful Thursday. Uh, snow on the ground here in Montana. Uh, not too bad outside. So how's your, how are things in Vancouver, British Columbia, Shane Montalban? Yeah, that's well, half amazing. Yeah. I warned you about those two cold fronts that came through, and they they did. But uh, no, it's overcast and cloudy and raining. But uh, it, it's moderately warm. Yeah. Well, if you're in uh, if you're in uh, Texas, uh, you definitely need today's show because we, you need customers. Uh, that's for sure. That's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, the first thing that we're going to uh, cover, and we're going to talk about the forty forty twenty rule and what that rule. Uh, says is very simply that um, forty percent of your uh, business will come from. Uh, it'll be determined by how well you define your target market: their income, their ad, their uh, age, uh, education, married, single, rent, own, whatever. The second forty percent depends on how that target market perceives your products and services, and the final twenty percent is the uh, package 
uh, which consists of the offer that uh, you use to uh, reach that person. So 40, 40, 20 rule. Very important, Shane. Yeah, the 20% is a package that, as you said, which consists of the offer that you are, are present presenting to uh, your wanting customers. And uh, it's always important to realize that uh, wanting to utilize the 21st century and uh, the Internet m plays a major factor in this because uh, uh, days of old, we, you know, junk mail and so forth uh, represented the only access similar to what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you're thinking about doing something like we're doing here on um, on our show, um, YouTube has studies that show. Um, you know, on your little billboard announcements, your your little uh, theme you put up, uh, colors are important. The image is important. So all of those things uh, are very important to attract uh, more people to your um, to your website or to your business or whatever. So the next thing we need to talk about the invisible advertising uh, messages. The invisible advertising messages, and this is this is pretty important because. What happens is that we get so many messages every day, Shane, that it's impossible to take each one seriously. We, we gloss over most of them. Uh, we don't notice uh, tire ads in the uh, paper unless we need tires. And for the most part, we crank most of that out. So uh, the bad news about this is that a potential customer needs to hear or see your ad nine times before they notice you or give you credibility. And the bad news is they miss every third ad. So you're looking at at least the customer has to see at least 27 ads before uh, you register on their radar or they, or you become uh, visible to them. That's, uh, that's absolutely right. When, when I mentioned um, junk mail, you know, it represented over, uh, uh, well, it used to represent about 55% back in the you know, 50s, 60s, 70s of the mail. Now it's over 85%, heading to 90, and about the only thing that's keeping uh, the post office up. So think about this in terms of wanting to get out through this advertising and messaging that people want or need your product or your service. Two important goals that in, in being able to get that message out. Absolutely right. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's really important that we that we uh, reach our ideal customer um, as as well as we can. But the the other issue, um, the advertising message only becomes visible to the target market when they need the product or service. You don't you don't look in the paper every day to see how much tires are if you just bought a set of tires. <laughs> and <Yes>. yeah, <laughs> you, you don't you gloss over those over those ads. So your target market is constantly evolving. Um, you know, I, I grew up in the uh, floral business. My father was a florist and a landscaper. And, uh, you know, every day somebody had an anniversary. Every day somebody had a birthday. Every day somebody had a new baby. Uh, Mother's Day and Valentine's Day were big days and proms and things like that. But the point was that we still had to reach those people, if they had an anniversary, think flowers or think of, you know, something for the for the wife or, or husband. So the um, the message only becomes visible when we have a need or a want, either one. The need is more powerful than the want, probably. <laughs> a lot of things I want, but I'm not going out and buying them. <laughs> but there's a ton of stuff that I need and I will buy that stuff. That's right. And, and rotating m marketing uh, that we're talking about in this in, in, in today's show isn't about uh, rotating through different types of uh, marketing, uh, wh whether you've decided that you want to do uh, something on the Internet or with your website or radio or even perhaps television, depending on the size of your business and what what service or product you provide. The, the importance is, is that you're always making an effort to advertise. It's like networking. Uh, they, they go hand in, in, in hand together in helping expand the quality of your uh, uh, customer base. And so this is something that, you know, people, as Thomas mentioned, they have to see your message a number of times 
it's a repetitive game, but at the end of the day, it's been very successful. Uh, you know, commercialism is all predicated on consumption and consumption is best de developed by advertising and reaching people that uh, will come to your business and, and consume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, for that, uh, for, in order to make that work, uh, we want to talk about something called reverse target marketing and how does that work exactly? Well, let's take a look at it. Um, in traditional marketing, you define your customers, you send them an advertising message by the most direct and economical route possible. And your target market analysis has shown who they are and how to reach them. So that's the, uh, that's the key, but a new segment of customer enters your market all the time. New people move to town, people, um, you know, uh, become, uh, their income changes and now they're a customer worth. Uh, they may not fit your target market analysis. Uh, you don't know who they are or why they've entered the market, but you still know how you still need to know how to reach them. And uh, with reverse marketing, uh, you have help uh, finding them now. And we're going to talk about that as we as we go along here, Shane. But yeah, but we we need to find the customers that are new in our market that may not be exposed to our advertising yet. And and keep in mind, you have to recognize you have a you may have a limited market to your product or service because of demographics. It it may only be advantageous for a certain demographic or uh, a group age group that uh, might be interested in, in what you're providing. So that may appear to you know restrict your marketing, but it shouldn't stop marketing. It's always a, a, a an important aspect of it. Uh, the other important aspect of reverse marketing is the ingenuity that can be shown here, as Thomas pointed out. And, you know, being being uh, uh, comical or showing some um, humor in your, your reach to people that in, in this type of marketing can be very beneficial. It, it can be uh, something that makes people comfortable. So to get people's attention, making them comfortable is very important. Well, it is, and, and Shane's absolutely right because uh, you want your you want your commercial to be memorable in some way. Uh, it might be the jingle you use, it might be humor, as Shane points out. Uh, it could be any number of things that, for some reason, that commercial will just stick in uh, that customer's mind for uh, you know until the 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 need arises for the product or service, and then that pops into their head. So. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember the name of the clothing company, but here, here was an here was an attempt uh, twenty years ago. Um, a clothing company put up uh, uh, reverse marketing as we're talking about it, particularly on television, and th they were actually really sort of horrific pictures or references to something that was going on. And the purpose of it was was to shock people to look at it, and in doing so, remember the name of the company. And uh, mm -hmm. it worked for oh, you know, the, a first quarter effort, but then it, it started to affect them directly because you know the the, the what they were doing is basically ne negative advertising to get mm -hmm. people to remember their name, not their product, not their service, but to remember the company's name. Yeah, there you are. Well, one of the uh, problems uh, most businesses have with marketing and advertising is they do it because they're supposed to do it. Um, you know, not not because they've done the proper research or anything in their business plan, but someone sold them advertising. You should be in the newspaper. You should be on our radio station. Uh, in truth, you should only be where your target market is in large enough numbers to justify the expense of the ads. Because as we've said many times on our show, advertising must be an investment. It can never be an expense. It might feel like an expense when you're writing the check. But a good example is... If I came into your, if I was an advertising person, Shane, and I came into your business and for every dollar bill I gave you, you get, or for every dollar bill you gave me, I gave you a 20. How often would you want to see me? <laughs> and that's what advertising does. It turns dollars into 20s, into 50s, into hundreds. Um, and uh, as long as it's working that way, then it's, it's an investment. Yeah, you know, it pays for itself. It's free. 
Well, and the importance of today's discussion is that uh, this is something you can really do your, on your own in the 21st century. And when a salesman comes in to sell you advertising, be it newspaper, magazine, television, wh wh whatever platform, keep in mind they're getting paid. So before your advertising gets started with them, they're getting paid right away. So yeah. you're, you better to <laughs> keep that money, get, pay yourself to develop your own marketing. And there is such an extensive amount of information on the internet now, how to do it. And you can just spend uh, an hour and, uh, you know, research and, and on your search engine, look up different types of advertising, not just for social networking, but just for your business as well. You don't need to be sold advertising. You can do it on your own and save yourself money doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. That's true. Yeah. Your business plan, part of your business plan that we talk about over and over and over on the show is part of that plan. A third of it is your marketing. So a third of it is going to go to how do you, um, uh, who's your target market? How old are they? Education, income, what? Uh, all, of, all of that becomes uh, becomes critical. So uh, let's see from uh, Linda. Linda says, Wendy's, it's hip to be square. <laughs> Dave Thomas <laughs> came up with that. They have the square hamburgers, right? So, That's right. So Linda's, Linda's got it. Linda knows what's going on here. So <laughs> thanks. Linda, that was that famous. Comment. Where's the meat? <laughs> Where's the meat? Yeah. Where's the beef? Or rather <laughs> what it should be, I guess. So, well, yeah, <laughs> we've got to consider uh, the new market segment. So we're talking about secondary markets here. And a good example of this is um, when a when a kid turns 16, they're now a driver. They're a tire customer. They're a gasoline customer. They're a mechanics customer. They're a uh, car wash customer. Uh, they open up a whole lot of uh, possibilities for a business to reach new customers. And uh, the uh, another one, of course, is unsatisfied customers. And if you if your competitor has turned somebody off, that's an excellent way for you to get that person. But we need to kind of identify what those secondary markets are. And uh, in your case, Shane, uh, running the restaurant business, um, it, it's always uh, a new restaurant. People always try it out. Right. They'll come in and yeah, that we got a new restaurant in town. We want to see what they're all about and what they've got and all that. Well, and, and the importance of, of that first contact, particularly if you have a business that people come to, is recognizing them, recognizing a couple, both of them, not just one, or a parent with children in, in a candle shop, you know, saying hello to the children that she's taking the time to have to bring. So I always acknowledge the customer that comes through your door, whether it's one member of the family, two or three, and make them feel comfortable. Uh, the importance of uh, restaurants is the ambiance that people walk into. That makes them comfortable. How they're welcome at the front uh, when they first come in. You, you want to have people well-trained and, and understand the importance of sharing their experience. And uh, it's always nice if, if someone comes in and acknowledges your ambience and your shop and you see them looking around, look around with them. You know, it's always nice to look around your, sh your shop and, and see what you've done. So uh, re recognition and use of, of the eye contact with all customers, mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. Yeah, you can't beat that. Uh, yeah, use of names. As soon as you find out their name, it's on their credit card. It's on a, uh, you know, however they pay, unless it's cash. <laughs> you call them, you can call That's them right. Benjamin and, Franklin, and one I day, guess. One day one day those children or even teenagers you might acknowledge you know will may may be a customer uh sure. with your intent to being there a long time you you know you you want to make sure that you include everyone that's coming to uh age and uh, wanting to be able to purchase on their own yeah well the other thing too is uh, you know if, uh, talking about the younger children you know if they're 12 or 13 or somewhere in that neighborhood it's going to be uh, a year or so they're going to start dating and they're going to say let's go to this restaurant because why i know the owner mm -hmm. That's <laughs> or right. i know the chef or, or, <laughs> or they're going to or, take good or, care of me ha have a you know um a lollipop or a little you know little lollipop to, to give yeah. to the don't give them a little candy and give them a little lollipop because it takes a while for them to eat it. 
And you'd be surprised next time they go shopping, that child might say, mommy, I want to go get a lollipop. <laughs> Marketing can be simple. It does not have to be costly or, you know, uh, grand. And uh, mm -hmm. so th th these are the type of things we like talking about uh, during these segments because they're, yeah. they're just uh, managed hints that uh, we have uh, had and used in, in, in our lifetime. And they've mm -hmm. worked. Yeah. Yeah, they do. That's that's the whole point. That's uh, that's why we're here. We're uh, sharing our our uh, years and years of experience in uh, business with all of you folks out there. Um, so anyway, Shane, we've kind of gone through some of this. And uh, with a little thought, you can identify uh, some of these customers and they start to become visible uh, to you, like we were talking about with the kids and the 16 year olds and that. So how would you reach the 16 year old driver? Uh, you might use a rock uh, radio station perhaps, or uh, something like that. And uh, new people in town, welcome wagon, uh, many uh, business or many uh, cities have a welcome wagon. Uh, you get coupons and things like that. Uh, you can put yourself in church bulletins. When people move to town, they've got to find uh, their, their particular church, chamber of commerce, uh, all of that. Uh, you could also add a uh, special offer to new customers, uh, people who've uh, never done business with you before. This is common in uh, in newspapers. If you're a new subscriber, you get a you know three months free or something like that. So, so yeah, uh, a sometimes a uh, bad idea. That's right. And, and whenever you're working in the evening, uh, uh, particularly in, in a walk-in shop you may own, uh, listen to local radio while, while you're working in the background. L listen to the advertising. That's a benefit. Listen to the music. Get to know the music because music is a universal language. And, uh, you know, uh, teenagers love their music and being aware of and, and knowing the different people that are popular on the radio. Um, is a is a good signal to a young person that you care if, if you happen to know, uh, you know, uh, in asking to, you know, I really like such and such as new song. Have you heard it? So th these things bring forward the opportunity, as Tom says, is to, you know, how try to find someone, not literally, but indirectly when they've come into your store and extending an interest that they may have and and show that you can share it with them it will bring them back it will yeah well think about your favorite tv shows they all have theme songs uh That's the cheers theme song we all remember that one all in the family uh, if you heard that song somewhere else you it, we, the the tv show would immediately pop into your mind That's and right. so uh if you can tie a jingle a piece of music to your um advertising so uh, even when people don't hear the ad with the music, if they hear the music somewhere, all of a sudden, oh, that's um, that's that uh, shoe, shoe store downtown, or it's the bakery. <laughs> and and, and a, a big word, a big word of visibility in this regard. If you're going to have background music in your store uh, that people do uh, visit, don't make it elevator music. You know, make, make it some, you know, make it variable, not mm -hmm. always the same, you know, or maybe pick uh, themes and, uh, you know, um, put put us, you know, people put a, a sign in the in their door window or the shop closed or open. But, you know, you could put on a little board uh, theme music, classical or mm -hmm. theme yeah. music pop and, and put it on your door and people walking by window shopping, they go theme music pop I, I wonder what that means you know and, yeah. and it, it may draw them in <laughs> and, and, come in, yeah. and they find it's pop music or it's classical oh dear mm -hmm. we haven't listened to classical and what why don't we window shop inside so these kinds of ideas that you can generate on your own and do in your own time are a great benefit to creating and expanding your customer base yeah, exactly right. Yeah, where we do, uh, where we broadcast our radio station, uh, we have five stations in that building. Um, we've got rock stations, we've got country stations, you go. we've got listening, we've got classical, we've got uh, all all genre of um, music available uh, because many people, um, you know, you're in the mood for, yeah, I want something upbeat or I want something relaxing or I want something, uh, 
you know, that's just easy to listen to and keep me sane while I work. <laughs> and and, like and it, it, this is a fun giggle because if you do decide to do local advertising on a radio, you should have that channel in the background in your store. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when sure. customers are in you, mm -hmm. you, and, and you hear, you hear your ad coming on, stop. You know, if you're talking mm -hmm. to a customer and, and look up like you're in amazement and, yeah. and then look at them and go, that's me. That's yeah, my yeah. ad. So you know, yeah. be proud about it, share it, mm -hmm. you know, make, you know, make an even yeah, effort, yeah. bigger effort to share it with them and, and make it very personal. Again, personal experience with customers yeah. new or old will always create loyalty. Loyalty in, in customers is probably the single most important thing you can do well on the long term being able to generate cash flow sales and a profit yeah that's for sure well let's finish up uh shane uh with a couple things here that we need to uh um, touch on just as uh as we uh leave this topic um as you can see there there are obvious markets anyone can see but there's also those secondary markets that many businesses miss so we don't want you to be uh, one of those businesses so Remember, we always ask people to ask, how did you find us? Um, you know, how did you find our business? And maybe we should be asking, how did we find you? <laughs> how, did, how did we find you? Because when new people move to town, uh, we need a, uh, you know, you need a bar. You need a um, you know, mechanic, uh, you know, grocery store, whatever. And generally, we'll ask a friend. Uh, where do you, where do you buy groceries or, you know, what's the best grocery store or what's the best bakery in town or, uh, where can I get, uh, toys for the kids? Uh, you know, things like that. So, uh, yeah, word of mouth is critical to your small business. That's right. And don't put it, if you put a suggestion box, don't call it a suggestion box, you know, get creative, you know, call, you know, put a little sign up saying, what can we do better? Or did you enjoy yourself? Mm -hmm. And you know, with a pen, you know, with a golf, some golfer pencils in a in a, a little glass and a little piece of paper like the size of a business card that's easy to fill out, and just ask for their email address and comment. That's it. Email address at the top, and then sure. comment. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, you you know, another way, simply done, that can generate uh, reference and uh, help you network and expand your customer base. Yeah. Well, another thing that we talk about, and, and Shane hits it on the nail this time, uh, absolutely, that um, we want to make it easier, easy for customers to complain. We don't want them leaving the store and talking to other people. If they have a complaint, we want to make it as easy as possible for them to complain to us and, you know, shut that down as quickly as we can. Because when that person goes out and tells somebody about a bad experience, that person will tell the next person, but they're going to embellish the experience to make it a little more interesting. And the next person is going That's to embellish true. it a little more, you know, and pretty soon you've got the owner of the business coming after you with an ax. <laughs> so it, it, uh, it's better to short circuit these uh, complaints before they leave your door. That's right. And, and another simple example for the, for a box is just put a sign up, uh, rate us. And, you know, yeah. scale, mm -hmm. one to ten. So, yeah. you know, that's, people know what that is. Uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. don't, it, try and make it something positive it, that people want to respond to, I believe. Uh, you know, complaints or suggestions mm -hmm. that people have been seeing that for 20 years. So they, they, yeah. you know, that's nothing new. Make, make it something different. Make it something new. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely right. All right. Uh, hey, if you're watching us on YouTube right now, don't forget to subscribe. Ring the notification bell. You'll never miss another podcast of ours. We're here every Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So put that in your calendar. Uh, like us and leave a comment. Uh, YouTube likes that kind of stuff. And if you'd also like personal attention from us uh, about your business or service or questions, or if you want us to do something for you, then uh, check our Patreon site. And uh, the description will be, or the link will be in the description below. 
and uh, how to get there and the uh, various things that we offer. But um, I'll tell you, you're getting you're getting an awful lot of expertise for not much money uh, over there. So go over and take a look at what we have to offer for you and uh, see if uh, if that will do the job for you. So. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got, Shane. We've got to talk about uh, uh, we've got past shows. <laughs> we, we've got past shows. We're always better the second time around. When you hear it the second time, it's always better than the first. You know, so by all means, get over there and, and check it out. Cam at am.com. Yeah. And, and the importance of the past show and the, and the catalog that we're putting together here is to present you with an opportunity to not have to pay for the education of yeah. of. of Getting your own opportunity. Uh, we're laying out all in detail so that you can simply watch uh, several of the shows or all of them. And uh, Tom references them and indexes them. So, yeah, uh, the different subjects and topics. And uh, the information is good. It, it, it's balanced, it's informative. And we try and make it fun and, you know, not boring because, you know, reading a business book can be boring or that going to a boring. lecture that yeah. you're paying for about business could be boring, but we're not. So you, you can enjoy yourself. And like I said, have that background music if you need. But yeah. uh, in the case of listening, you don't, you won't need it, but that's okay. Yeah. Maybe I should, but maybe I should put background music with all our podcast we, we can do that i only need more things to do during the day so uh, geez. hey don't forget our website uh tom and shane.com tom and shane.com there are articles over there there are tips advertising business management uh, employees all sorts of things over there uh some of the there uh, how to sell on the phone for example is over there and uh, many others so check out tomandshade.com no cost no sign up no nothing if you want to be advised when new articles come up there's a place where you can uh, put that information in your first name and your email and we'll uh, shoot an email out to you every time we put up new stuff on uh, tomandshade.com that'll be of course every week and uh, don't forget to um, watch our past shows, as we mentioned before. They're at KMMSAM.com. Click on Tom and Shea's podcast. And uh, don't forget our radio show uh, is going to be on Saturday morning. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you there, <laughs> 8 to 11, Mountain Time. Uh, click uh, listen now at KMMSAM.com. You don't have to sign up or anything. You don't have to leave any information, no email, no name, no nothing. All you got to do is click listen now and you're on the show and uh, you can call us. You can text us. We're a call in radio show. Uh, we do politics. We do business. Uh, they're all connected together. So uh, that's what we that's what we do. So thanks for listening and uh, watching us and uh, say goodbye, Shane. I will indeed. Thank you, Tom. Be happy. Be safe, everyone. Live in the moment because it's only a moment of life. And uh, life is only um, a, a lot of moments. So uh, live to work because that's what you're now doing. And come home fa happy to your family. That's the way they want to see you come through the front door. That's for sure. And hey, uh, the more successful your business is, the bigger the smile when you come through that front door. <laughs> that's for sure. And that's why we're here. All right. We'll see everybody Saturday on the radio, 8 to 11 Mountain Time. Oh. Uh, we see him uh -huh. today talk on saturday that's what i say we'll see you saturday no we won't see him saturday but we will talk to you saturday we'll talk to you saturday <laughs> and uh, yeah. tom and i will see each other because we do it on skype so we can yeah. we can't see each other yeah we make so. faces with each other yeah <laughs> okay. that's a lot of but yeah we'll talk to you on saturday how's that eight to eleven mountain time kmmsam.com put it on your calendar don't miss it you can call us you can text us <laughs> Uh, we have a great time over there. We got a lot of uh, uh, loyal uh, listeners and callers and texters that uh, deal with us. So uh, uh, you'll want to become part of our KMMS family. So, all right, that's going to wrap it up for us. Thank you, Shane. Half man, half amazing in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And Tom Eaglehoff, your morning mayor at KMMSAM.com in Bozeman, Montana. And uh, hey, all views are welcome here. And if you think it there, there's a good chance we're going to say it here or on the radio. So we'll see everybody Saturday.